Good afternoon, guys. Maritza here. I want to make a little video entitled Understanding the Dynamics of Identity. Going really deep and seeing what is happening in today's world. People have no right of passage. Pretty much everything has been handed down to you. Boundaries are being removed. Individuals are doing what feels right to them without really considering the ramifications of their behaviors. Parents are not really being parents. They're being best friends, not being as authoritarian as they should be as parents were in yesteryears. Schools are pretty much indoctrinating and leading the way to whatever it is that they want to see the future generation appear as. This is why we have this gender confusion. It's important to try to understand the concept of what gender really is. We know that sex is biological. We know that XX means you're a female and XY means you're a male. We know that there are variations of this, which we call intersex. We know that in this day and age, there's a lot of toxins, a lot of chemicals to include technology, which interferes with the normal happenings or the normal activity of the brain, parasympathetic, sympathetic, nervous system, the endocrine system, all these systems have been compromised due to the amount of chemicals we see. We're also looking at a pattern of certain individuals that are affected greatly by these things in the way they behave, which is pretty much very scripted. You look at a trans person and you pretty much are able to finish their sentence, are able to understand what they're going to do next and are able to see their behavior. It's very scripted, it's, it's very pro road very much the same. You've got two or three different programs, I would like to call them. Teenagers are, are being pushed to question their gender because they feel awkward during that teenage years or during those teenage years. And so automatically they think that something is wrong with their gender. They don't like to be objectified if you're a girl. So not knowing how to deal with this objectification being brought upon you by the male species, you find a way to try to protect yourself. And the easiest way to protect yourself is to ask, act more manly so that you're no longer are looked upon as a girl or, or objectified. A lot of this becomes even bigger if you're sexually molested if you feel some sense of civil rivalry where you you see that your brother gets more attention if you're a girl and you see that your brother you know gets all the royalties that you are not privy to so automatically you want to experience that and you want to become a boy notice that want to versus i am are two different types of language but people are manipulating the language and placing a sort of dire need or danger that if they don't get to be this so-called persona, then there's going to be ramifications, i.e. suicide, which is a tool used to get what you want. That's why I also believe that the word dysphoria attached to the word gender is another manipulative tool. There are absolutely no objective testing or finding, and I will say this till I'm blue in the face. Many people try to claim that there are other things in this world, diagnoses that have no objective testing, and I say no, there are objective testing. Somebody tried to say there was no objective testing for pain. There are, there are tools and ways of, of knowing your pain level. There are imagery, there are nerve conduction and find out if there's something wrong with a nerve passage, if it's too hypersensitive or underdeveloped. 
But this gender identity confusion that we're seeing in this day and age is based on many things. Number one, the times, because there is no rite of passage. There is absolutely, people are becoming lost within themselves. Themselves are not good enough, so they have to create an identity outside of themselves to run away. It's escapism. It's being handled totally incorrectly. And we will find this out as the years progress, that this is going to be considered the worst time of human history, where we have destroyed what is organic, what we have destroyed, what is natural by providing chemicals that sterilize, harm, and destroy a perfectly healthy body. Instead of working on the mind and the behavior, which now is deemed as conversion therapy and they're trying to get rid of it, which I think that's just the, the most barbaric thing to even consider banning because it, it's helped throughout history. And although I'm not a fan of psychology, I really am not, and I'm not a fan of, of counseling because it's, it's really not based on a true perspective. I'm more of a, a fan of spirituality understanding yourself more. And I guess that some psychology could be helpful. I mean, I'd rather that than going to, to an endocrinologist and taking dangerous drugs or going to a surgeon and removing and adding parts to your body. Like if you were a Mr. or Mrs. Potato Head. Um, it's, it's really scary what we're seeing. And this move, I mean, it, it's it has like, it's gone wild. It really has. I mean, we have gender clinics all over the place being opened up. You know, people are setting up shop. You know, they're setting up shop to try to to try to deal with this, even though they have no training, very minimal training of that, and the training that's pretty much shooting at your hip. With a situation that is very brand new. There have been people in history who have demonstrated an intersex condition. But this transgender, gender dysphoria, gender identity um, confusion is relatively new. It's a disorder. That's why the initial name, gender identity disorder, was the right term. There's something going on within that person, just like something happens when an anorexic looks in the mirror and they see a, an overweight person, even though they're deathly skinny. Same concept with an individual that hears voices, sees things. No different. It's a dissociation disorder, dissociative disorder. It's a personality borderline disorder. I mean, we're, we're looking at different combination of things that people are experiencing. You could even see it when you look at Facebook and you look at the different pictures people take, the different personalities that are coming out of these individuals stagnated energy from trauma in the past that comes up with borderline personality disorders. If you are a believer, it is safe to say that it could be some sort of demonic possession. But for those of you who are not believers, let's just call it a form of energy that was allowed in, inside your body at a point in your life where either a traumatic event or a situation that the person who was very sensitive appeared to them to be a trauma, but not big enough for it to even be considered a trauma. Could have been something simple as a word that triggered the set situation. We are really in dire, dire need of professionals to step up. Professionals that are not falling for the emperor has no clothes. Professionals that are willing to do the research without the fear of being shamed. Because this agenda uses the shame factor, the bullying factor to continue to propagate it 
to continue to set it forth. So this whole identity crisis that we're seeing in our world today has to be dealt with and it has to be dealt with in a, in a manner that is not giving in to individual subjective feelings. It has to be dealt with very swiftly and has to be dealt with in such a way where there is no harm being caused to the person by administering any type of medication or any type of surgical procedures. They're claiming to be born in the wrong body, but their bodies are functioning a-okay. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the body. The anorexic is not overweight. It's the way the anorexic looks at themselves in the mirror. That's the same problem with gender dysphoria. It's the way that person wants to see themselves. A person at one point was very manly, very hairy, very whatever, not an ounce of femininity in their body, not an ounce or a sign of any distress. All of a sudden, from some sort of point in their life, middle age crisis, a situation that may have triggered the need for escape, now are claiming to be the opposite gender they were born, opposite sex they were born as. And this word gender, that very confusingly we use interchangeably, is not an interchangeable word. Sex is biological. Gender is fantasy. Gender is based on stereotypes, on roles, on what we as society have created. And yes, there are stereotypes. There are. Women have certain characteristics. Men have certain characteristics. I'm not poo-pooing that because I believe that a woman should act a certain way and a man should act a certain way the way God intended for us to be. But these individuals are trading in the roles that they're supposed to be playing because they don't like it for whatever reason, and they want the opposite role. They think the grass is always greener on the other side. And when all said and done and all these surgeries that they have to do and all these hormones that they have to take to change their bodies, in the long run, you're like a dog chasing your tail because you will never catch that tail. You will never change your biology is impossible. You could do cosmetics and kind of have kind of sort of the look that you're trying to attain. But remember, the body always has that pendulum swinging, trying to find that balance, that homeostasis, and then there's diminishing returns. What goes up must come down. In the long run, in the end, your own mind will start playing tricks on you. Your own mind will start to battle you and your body will retaliate. So why not just work on the issues? Why not be truthful? Why have to battle everybody else that does not see you? Why force the world to see you? Why force these agenda on the world? You want to live the way you want to live. You're entitled to that as an adult. Do I recommend you do that? Absolutely not. I've seen too many, too many diseases, too many deaths. I've had friends that have committed suicide after years of living in the so-called gender that they transitioned to because they weren't happy. I've had friends that have clearly said to me, I've lost my soul. I have friends that pretend to be happy because they know there's nothing else they can do. Now they've, they feel like they've jumped in that pool. Now they've got to swim. And I'm here to tell you, no, you don't. You can get out of that pool, dry yourself out, and heal and start to live your life the way you were intended to live. Stop chasing your tail. Stop hurting yourself and others. Seriously, this is madness and I'm not trying to be rude. 
It is total madness. It makes absolutely zero sense. This gender confusion or this identity crisis that we're, we're facing is going to destroy life as we know it. We need to put an end to this now. We need to help our young. We need to help the men that are struggling with their identity and allow them to realize that they are valuable, even though they're not the same as other men, but they are valuable the way they are. They need to learn themselves instead of trying to be something that they're not. Well, guys, that's all for now. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys listening. I appreciate your comments as long as they're not rude. As long as we can engage in civil conversation. I like to really understand what makes a human being believe that they're born wrong, that they're born absolutely wrong. What, what, what is it that makes you believe that? Just because you wanted to be like your sister, you wanted to be like your brother, it's because you don't fit in the typical. Grow into yourself your true self, not the self that you're trying to create by adding synthetics and having surgeries done. That's not your true self. That's a lie. Be honest with yourself. What drove you to this? What hurt you so badly? What made you feel jaded that you think that you needed to be born the opposite gender, the opposite sex? Seriously, reflect and think things through. I love you guys, but remember to always love yourselves too. Have a good one. Bye-bye.